If you're interested in answering some of the biggest questions in the field of neuroscience right now, you've definitely come to the right place. The Department of Physiology and Neurobiology conducts interdisciplinary research in behavioral, developmental, genetic, molecular, cellular, and even systems neuroscience. We're consistently one of the most well-funded departments at the University of Connecticut, and we have an excellent track record for postdoctoral and industry placements. That means we can offer you an outstanding training environment, world-class research facilities and equipment, and most importantly, a supportive, inclusive, and vibrant community to spend the next few years of your life in. Our doctoral students receive a competitive salary in health insurance, travel allowances so that you can present your work at international conferences, and even a stipend to purchase the technology that you need to be successful as a graduate student. You can learn more about our program and apply at pnb.ucon.edu. And now you can hear from some of the faculty who would love to work with you. Hi, my name is Natalie Shalino, Assistant Professor of Physiology and Neurobiology at the University of Connecticut. And my lab studies, what makes us motivated? We do this by specifically mapping the neural circuits in the brain that give us this amazing ability to regulate feeding and reward. We then go back into those same circuits and pinpoint exactly how they're altered in diseases like obesity and addiction. Right now is a really exciting time in my lab for graduate students with fully funded positions available to learn the latest tools in circuit neuroscience from intersectional genetics to in vivo imaging. To learn more, check out shalinolab.org. Hi, my name is Joanne Conover, and this is my research laboratory. We are a stem cell biology, developmental neurobiology laboratory, and we look at stem cells as they uh, contribute to early brain development, and then how this, the stem cell functions change as we go through postnatal development into adulthood. My name is Anastasio Gigolins. I'm a faculty at the Physiology and Neurobiology Department. My laboratory is trying to understand how genes identified in patients with pediatric epilepsy and in patients with autism spectrum disorders change the brain, how they affect the circuits, how they affect the neurons, with the hope to identify new treatments and new molecular treatments. For this, we use neurophysiology and the power of genetics. We use mice engineered with mutations identified in human patients to really understand exactly how the brain is changing in these months. However, my proudest achievement are my students. I try to create an inclusive environment and allow the students to launch their careers by identifying the career paths that they want to have. My students go either to academic careers or industry careers or something completely different like marketing. It's up to the students and it's my job to make the environment best for them. I'm Karen Benews, an assistant professor in PMB, and I am fascinated by how insects smell the world around them. Now, why study sensory neuroscience in an insect? Well, I do so because a lot of insects, including those that spread human diseases like mosquitoes, they really just figure out where they are in the world using their sense of smell. And so what we do is we try to identify conserved molecules that are important for olfaction with the hope that some of these will be useful for the generation of new insect repellents. To do this, we use the model organism Drosophila and a huge variety of techniques. So we use everything from RNA sequencing, generation of new mutants using CRISPR-Cas9 engineering, making transgenic reporter lines using histology, genetics, behavior, and my favorite, in vivo electrophysiology. So if you'd like to hear more about my research or about UConn in general, please reach my out. My name is Alex Jackson, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Physiology and Neurobiology at the University of Connecticut. The goal of my research program is to understand how neural circuits in the hypothalamus orchestrate complex innate behavior and behavioral states such as sleep, wakefulness, hunger, motivation, and stress. We're approaching this question through a precise dissection of hypothalamic neuronal cell types. Identifying and studying the basic biology of these neurons is a crucial first step in working out functionally distinct hypothalamic neural circuits and a foundation for circuit-specific dissection of behavior in health and disease states such as sleep, metabolic, and neuropsychiatric disorders. In the lab, we take an interdisciplinary approach by applying single cell biology, gene expression analysis, neuroanatomical tract tracing, splice electrophysiology, optogenetics-based circuit mapping, and behavior. Please reach out if you'd like to learn more about our research and the PNB graduate program. We'd love to hear from you.